Today we are talking about celebrities and body image, from revenge makeovers to Miley Cyrus's, Cyrus's radical haircut. What does it take to be comfortable in your own skin? Let's go toe to toe. Yeah, and not just any toes, okay? These are two guests. They're ready to go. They are friends of the show. They are stupendous. They are Lonnie Love and D.L. Hughley. Yeah. Let's just say it. I mean, this is all-star edition right now. And here we go. Uh, so the article in this week's Us Weekly is about um, revenge makeovers. Jenny Garth, Kate Gosselin, Reese Witherspoon, um, all changing their images after a bad breakup. So is this a good idea? Is this what it takes to get back whole again and comfortable with your image? What do you, you know, think, Mom? This is the reason why I internet date, because... <laughs> You know, you internet date, you don't have to go through all of this. All you gotta do is block your account and move on with your life. <laughs> it, go, it goes one of, one of three ways. Either they get they get uh, really depressed and skinny, or they... Uh, they or really make, fat. Yeah, go on really and say it. Go on and say it. <laughs> or, or they get remade over by Hagen Dogs. <laughs> You know, like sometimes it's all over. Let me have another scoop. But but a certain amount of things. When you're rich, it's 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 fairly easy to to get a makeover on a budget. You like, right. you yeah. I got some socks. Wow. That's, <laughs> and they're not even long. This is nice. so we, we just had Jenny Garth on, and she looks unbelievable. Yeah. You know, she went through a tough time recently. It's splitting with. It's, as a man, it's hard for me to see a woman look better after she's not with me. I like. Oh, that's, that's the part. That's, horrible. that's why. But, that. yeah. but is it, a it, tooth or something? But is it revenge? I mean, we're sort, are we making? Are we making them too bloodthirsty? Don't they just maybe want a fresh start? I mean, to, to yeah. your point, we want something want fresh, different and new. That's why we start. do what we do, <laughs> all right? <laughs> we want to let you know what that you're going to miss us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're going to miss all of this, dear. <laughs> and, and, but you know what? If they did that when they was there, then we might not have broke up. Yeah. <laughs> But you need to know the truth, damn it. Maybe, no, wait, wait, I can't let you go there. I can't let you go there, because maybe if you would have appreciated it from the beginning, we wouldn't have to do that. Let me tell you something. You all need to let your inner hookers out sometimes. Oh. <laughs> well, you have to do it, because... is the woman that man was asking you to be the whole time. That's well, like, maybe if you would stop acting like a pimp and treat us like a lady. You know, we're talking about hookers. How did this turn into Jerry Springer? That's where I was, wow. where I was going. Wow. All right. So, hey, hey, I'm glad we have such control of this situation. Right. Moving right along. <laughs> yeah, can we talk um, about something else? Yeah, well, up until that point, a lot of people were buzzing mm -hmm. about Miley Cyrus's drastic, rather drastic new do. Uh, we already knew she, she doesn't, doesn't care, care yeah. what anybody thinks, but what did her uh, superstar oh. fiance think? Actually, Liam Hemsworth, again, weighed in for the first time on the haircut and the controversy this morning when uh, he joined us on Good Morning is America. It, is I loved what he said. He's like, I don't, I don't care. But when you know? going? That, that, honestly, when I see that picture, it looked like, you know, usually that's when you get indicted for something, that's the picture they oh, show you. Like, <laughs> Like a mugshot. I'm like, what does he do wrong? Yeah, yeah. But, but I think, like, every pot got to cover. Whatever turns a, a dude on is. is, is well, what what cool. else is he going to say? Right. I mean, he about to get married to her. He right. don't say it look ugly right. or anything. Right. You know, right. you not know many people in line to be with Hannah Montana. A lot of people, right? <laughs> so she could go bald. And this is the thing. You know this. I know this. She is 19 years old. She got plenty of time to grow hair. Or she could add some extensions. Or we call it a weave in the black community. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know one person who doesn't think she needs one. Listen up. 
uh, not pay too much attention to that stuff because it, it makes me nervous. Um, <laughs> but uh, her, 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 her hair looks great. It's, it's a big change and it, it looks really fantastic. He looks like he is uh, on some Whitland or something. Like he, like he, her hair looks great. Oh, God, we're going to get married. Listen, huh? Akin, I got to say. <laughs> See, you know I what, DM? What this did. is what happens when you let your inner hooker out. Yeah. You cut your hair off like that. See? You know what? You probably right. But he, he looks stunned. Like, well, she's going to really come to the wedding. Like, that's going to be in the picture, huh? That's right in. That's... No. Wow. I just. No. He did look stunned. I think everybody just looks good, and I loved what Liam said, and I love unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> and kittens uh, so, and... Like, let's, like, I, I'm afraid to bring up this yes. topic, just because uh -oh. I don't know what's going to happen now, but uh, the original Bachelorette, Trista Sutter, wanted to feel sexy again, she says. I thought she looked great, but after two kids, she wanted to uh, tweak her body, apparently, for her upcoming 40th birthday. Uh, so she underwent the night... Under went under the knife so that she could feel, quote, pretty again. She says it worked out. What do you guys think? Do you think, what do you think about bringing sexy back through surgery? She looks At 40 with two kids? Right. Really? I mean, see, this is what happens when you get a man that don't want to make you feel like a good woman, all right? Because that woman looks good. You see the before picture? She looks just as good. I mean, and look, well, you know, look at her husband. I would get nipped and tucked, too. <laughs> And like, I know. And and then, then I looked at her husband and I just punked out. You know? <laughs> at some point, we got to come up for air. Dio, hear me, Lana.